there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Hype Train. Hype Train! Where we look at trailers and we give our opinions on them, and we probably get everything wrong about it whenever we make suppositions, but we're here to give theories and thoughts and ideas that we might have. And I'm here with Will, Real Will Convy. Hey, guys! And Fact Finder Fergal. He's just off camera. Hello. <laughs> so we're actually going to be checking through a few more trailers here on the channel. Today is going to be Transformers, The Last Night. I'm not a fan of the Michael Bay Transformers here. Just want to say it flat out. Fair enough. Uh, it's just so much, so many inconsistencies. Uh, well, inconsistencies in design, but that can be mildly put away by the fact well, that... Well, no, not by design. Day. I mean, like, from one film to the other, where it's like, we have got to get the all spark, and then it's like, we've got to get this other power, power source, and then it's, we... It's, this film, this thing crashed there, and we hit it, and fucking... Things went wrong again. Dinosaur. Uh, the, <laughs> the whole series has felt like Chachki Quest, where they just have to find the thing, and once we find the thing, then somebody else will want the thing, and if somebody else wants the thing, we have to fight the thing to get the thing, to have the thing, to save the thing. first three films had three different goddamn origins where the high Transformers got the Earth. Yeah, that's true. That's one of the things they did change all the way through them. Um, pretty much was, and that the, the Fallen were the creators of them, and then previously they were actually like, fighting against them. Uh, I that was on the fucking moon? I, I kind of miss that oh, it's sorry. not just uh, the, or the Transformers were just the two people, the two groups of people who were fighting against each other, and then they just separated themselves out into Autobots and Decepticons. I kind of liked that idea, rather than actually having this being literal like two sides I didn't of a war that we made for angry at this. <laughs> you, you, you're, you're, you're not too concerned about it, but actually, uh, Transformers, the original okay, series, yeah. the original movies, the G1 stuff, I absolutely love. Um, yeah, but both me and Backfinder for Earl have actually been big fans of the series since the 1980s and been disappointed one after another with the movie franchise that's been out so far. <laughs> Maybe it'll change with the last night. Maybe. I'm not too sure and I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not holding up hope, but we might as well take a look. Yeah, we might as well. I feel like I should be over there fact finding and <laughs> fact fucking even getting the words out of my mouth. We're too, pretty. We're too pretty to be off camera. That's the reason why. We're just too pretty. <laughs> He's ugly but intelligent. That's the important thing whenever it comes to fact finders. So fact let's... finder fugly. <laughs> just keep on changing it with those Fs. Oh yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. Transformers The Last Night trailer. Let's take a look. <laughs> More green bands. I... I mean, I want a red band. Yeah, I want a red band Transformers where they're fucking. <laughs> red. Yeah, I want to see some damn robots. Well New York. We're not supposed to be here. We're kids, man. We get away with anything. I was the robot pet. just a normal kid. Before my world fell apart. No, 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 no. Look at me. Wake up, Canopy. Went to a normal school. Lived a normal life. Some kids used to tease me. Oh. Wow. Who is he? As far as you're concerned, my boyfriend. <laughs> How long has that been going on? What? They'd say, you run like a girl. We're family now. We're gonna take care of you, I promise. Just don't expect any bedtime stories. Hey, it's Cup! You throw like a girl. He's a Come on, guys! Hey, to Fight like a girl. Put him down! You think I'm afraid of you? <laughs> like, that's a bit ballsy. Are you out of your mind? You're, not you're a fucking flare sack! I wanna stay, and I wanna fight them. You think you're a badass, huh? Is this okay to be a kid, little J-Lo? Funny what you can do when all you have left depends on it. Done. <laughs> fight like a girl? Yeah, I fight like a girl. You coming with me or what? Don't you? Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. It's definitely Unicron. It has to be just by looking at this ship. It's a planet here. It's either that or Galactus. We're in the wrong god. Tie fighters. Tie fighters. What the fuck? <laughs> Repair. Oh, Repair. Oh, Teltron one. I mean, you can oh. get like fans from the movie Dark Vader. Turn around. What do you got in your mouth? Oh yeah, and they also have the hands <laughs> over. Drop the clues right now! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be Grimlock King! Be careful! <laughs> Run, fine, look you behind! Your hole. Think about what you did! <laughs> oh man. Okay, so. As usual, actually. 
was too bad. They didn't give away a lot there, and they, that's not what I saw from the original yeah. trailer. They've, they, the original trailer gave a lot more away in a lot of, yeah. in a very bad way. That was actually, yeah, that, that yeah, the previous trailer was a hell of a lot shorter, but showed so much more information. But this trailer actually showed like a fucking heart to this fucking movie. I want to know more about the little girl. I don't know more about the fighters. Yeah, and do you know what? I'm glad. It looks like Marky Mark's like taking a backseat role in this one, and that's yeah. actually kind of cool. The little girl's the main character, but just Marky Mark's just there. It's like a, I'm being, I'm with the Transformers. I'm helping out, but. Yeah. Yeah. Le move. Yeah. Yeah, the meat sack. <laughs> the, the, the beef steak. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's like your... I'm not. Uh, like I got. Charlie Buffett was unbelievably annoying. So, a Michael Bay film, Transformers The Last Night, that trailer makes didn't me... didn't give anything away at all. It just bunch of images. That's, a, that's just a really and... good trailer. Like, it gave a lot... It gave a, uh, like, the way we were, like, I come, away, I come away from this and was like, I actually... I mean, I probably will. Like, the last Transformers film, did I go to the cinema and see that? Mm. Not sure. I don't think it did. I don't... I, I think, think I, I, I... I didn't go and see it. I actually uh, waited. Yeah, the one with Galvatron yeah, and first, um, Sentinel with... Prime. And... No, the first one with uh, Marky Mark in it. Oh, the the one with the dinosaurs? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, no, wait, I think is... I did see it somewhere. This actually, I mean... Yeah, that's... They, they, they do, well, it's because they got the voice, they got Leonard Nimoy to play Sentinel Prime. Oh. Aye, that's they what I'm two different films, yeah, two yeah. different films. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> two different films. <laughs> um, but like, watching that actually makes me... Want. I mean, I started this off being quite angry and not even realized I was going to get angry at those films. And I'm looking at this going, I want to go to cinema and see this. Yeah. Oh, yeah no, like, I, I've been dismissive of the Transformers movies for the last two or three. And this is one of those things where like, I would never have cared to go and see them in cinema. I actually might see it. I might, I might put my money down to watch this one in the cinema because there was, a, from the first trailer I saw, it was a typical Michael Bay movie, Transformers, and it did not appeal to me in any way, shape, or form. This is pretty much doing a rotation of it. It feels like those scenes with her talking directly to the camera, saying "I was a girl, I'm a girl," and stuff. That really feels like it's it's an, an intentional pandering to actually say like this is about a plot. There's actually a plot. There's a story. There's a character arc for this person, rather than big machines bouncing off each other. The been. one problem I've always had with Transformers movies is that there's too many fucking humans in them. But if they reduce it down to just one fucking human and a bunch of Transformers, like the army guy, he's the only guy who's in I think all the films. Yeah, oh yeah, the one who like shot a Transformer in the balls in the first movie. <laughs> he slid underneath him and shot him in the balls as he went past. Yeah, I uh, don't think it was that army guy. Not I that mean, guy? the actual army guy, not the section 8 or 6 no. guy. There he is? Yeah. No, not him, the, the white guy. Oh, the, the white guy was the first ones. Yeah, he was, a, he was one of the first ones. He showed him there in uh, one of the helicopters or whatever. I mean, the, the whole section 8 and 9... Oh, Thank you, Hamill. Josh Duhamel. Thank you very I much for the fact. He is in all of those. All right. Let's see. Um, all right. Nas. Oh, that's what they call them, Nas. Uh, so, if, if there's a bunch of Transformers in there. Don't know the design. Don't know who they are. Only recognizable people was Cup, Bumblebee, Prime. Who else was there? You can all look at Megatron sort of thing. Uh, so with, the, with the horns coming in. New face but was he a beard? <laughs> oh no, the the one the one with the beard hanging down his face. That's uh, no 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 not him because that guy that one's been in the shotgun. shotgun. Yeah. That one's in the shotgun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and she goes straight. Either see, it's either it's either Megatron with a new body, or it's Scourge, or uh, what do you call him? The other one, Cyclonus. See, that would make sense to actually have, like, those generals showing up, because, like, yeah. like it was weird to have, um, the fucking, uh, the bounty hunter in the last one. Like, I was going, like, I, I, never, I know of the character, but I never thought he would have been one of the main guys in one of these movies. I can't think we look back, so let's see if we can get that shot again. But yeah, seeing these shots here as well of, um, what Thank looks you. to be, like, giant tentacles and the horns coming out of the ground and stuff, it really makes me think that they're actually going around on a giant brain. Unicron. It is Megatron. They are definitely TIE Fighters, okay? But no, they, the, the, the TIE Fighters you're thinking of, they actually look like the wee repair units of Flight or Teletron 1 at the very beginning yeah. of G1. So they go over there, repair, repair! They go in and find, they scan the machines that they turn themselves into. 
and that could be the reason why those Teltron one things are going out. They go and find buys and recharge them and reset, reconfigure them. Because that's the one thing I had with the problem with the Decepticons is like none of the Decepticons were Earth based machines. Like um, yeah, they, yeah. they tend to be all alien based machines. They are like the even even the ones that were meant to be Earth based. They kind of like they they didn't use that. They didn't like put what? Yeah, but they the less of them chose to actually look like Earth machines. They just kept themselves a Cybertronian. Hi. <laughs> Starscream as a character is one of the most the most entertaining things yeah. in Decepticons and in Transformers oh, history. <laughs> Megatron, is that you? Here's a hint. <laughs> That's a great line. I think uh, those ready my coronation. Uh, see, see where she's talking. This is bad comedy. See where she's talking to the camera. I think that is kind of imports the. YouTubers of the world for that, you know. I think that's a video going out to people. She's had there's a bit of a speech, but well, that's all split up. The, all the fans the same, all the time, all the time she's saying that stuff, it's actually cut out, separated out. Yeah. Ooh. Like almost like headmaster. That could be her repairing his voice box. We could finally have Bumblebee talking as well. So it takes like five fucking felons. Yeah. Headmasters. Headmasters and the, and the pretenders and stuff. Like, that would be fucking cool. That would actually be interesting. Oh, essentially like the man-machine hybrids kind of thing. So essentially like the way we now fight with the Cybertronians because we're part of them. That would, that would be really interesting to do as a plot to actually have the headmasters but literally just be like a psychic link more than anything else. Yes, I. The, the, you see Optimus Prime getting beaten up at one point yeah, in this trailer, and that is it. No, it's certainly not the end of the rest. That, that's, that, that's the weirdest thing about it. It's like, this trailer is so, so different from the original trailer, but told so little that the first trailer now makes no fucking sense. <laughs> the first trailer we saw of this movie literally is going, like, why the fuck did they end up in that situation? Because the first trailer made him go, like, oh, this one looks as generic as fucking possible. Okay, we can see this plot coming. Maybe they changed it, maybe they recut it. Oh. Yeah, yeah Grimlock spewed in a car. Yeah, keeping him with a dumb beast. <laughs> he's a pet. He's a dog. <laughs> no, they didn't. They didn't do it in the previous one. So uh, even whenever they because he, he did, they did. Oh, hang on, did Grimlock and the ones speak in the last movie when they went robot? Yeah, I think they spoke to each other. I them. I remember they spoke to each other. They had like language kind of thing. Yeah, they didn't speak like everybody else. <laughs> Yeah, which would which would have been a nice touch, but they actually like again, they commanded the other red Dinobots <laughs> to actually do stuff. But um that'd be interesting actually if they did throw in the Grimlock voice now that he's been around humans for a little bit longer. That'd be a nice touch. I, I like the idea, like, well, I mean at one point Grimlock did lead the Transformers for a while, didn't he? After Prime was gone, after Rodimus even being off for a while, so I think Grimlock as a new leader would actually be fucking hilarious. Although more than likely they do push Bumblebee more than anything else to actually be the new head. But um that that actually entertained me. That's I'm actually entertained by that to a point where I am <laughs> just, like, just so we can have the car scene again. Actually, I just realized, I um, mean, there's no connection between the two films, and it's not a spoiler, so don't crucify me, but they do actually reference uh, Transformers and Fire Ridge. Just reference, not a Oh, it's just because they're because the Zoid or Reborn. I don't think there's a connection. Fire Ridge movies, Michael Bay produced as well, isn't it? I, hope I, think, I think it was produced. Really? It might be, I think it was like an all produced by. Backfinder, yeah, come on, Fergal. Um, but they, it's a slate reference. It's just so. Anyway, this isn't a Michael Bay movie. It's a Michael Bay produced movie. It's like they say a Michael Bay film is literally like, um, he just went like, yeah, we're going to do one. <laughs> and like everybody else went, really? Right? Have we got a script? Have we got anything? But um, yeah, um, Transformers The Last Night has me properly surprised, pleasantly surprised. I'm going to go out watch June before that one comes out. So this is going to be another one of those big summer movies that I actually be interested to see. No mention of it in the Power Rangers movie. Uh, ah, maybe. good. There's no mention of Michael Bay production company. Ah, uh, okay. So that case, I am talking right out of my hole. Power Rangers with Lionsgate and Temple Hill Entertainment. Neither. Oh, nothing, nothing to do with Michael Bay. Uh, no, it was just a funny, like, you know. Uh, it's just a funny coincidence. It makes sense because they refer to giant robots and they have giant robots. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Well, um, yeah, Transformers. 
Yeah, yeah because the, the, the G.I. Joes are really going to win that fight. <laughs> Rock could win that fight. There, what was it? There was, um... What was it that was going on? G.I. Joe and Mask was rumoured to actually be getting a crossover. Yeah, they actually, uh, they refer to Venom in the second or the most recent G.I. Joe movie as being another offshoot of Cobra. Cobra and Venom. And essentially, like I think it was at the end of the G.I. Joe movie, they essentially like, we have to take, we've taken down the snake, that we have to get rid of the poison. And could you imagine actually like essentially just putting like a whole bunch of fucking transforming cars and masks and then putting the G.I. Joes, who are already in exosuits in half of those fucking movies, uh, and putting that together? Because you know, essentially, uh, at the end of the G.I. the last G.I. Joe ones, the G.I. Joes were like stripped of all their gear and shit, they were actually, but you essentially they find another team who have a shitload of gear, <laughs> would be the mask team, live working out of a garage in Nevada. It would be genius. I'd, I, I, I write, I'm writing it for you. He's right now, you bastards. It's not that difficult to put together. Would I be right in saying this is Michael Bay's last Transformers? I find it. You know what? You go Google. I would say that if, tip. if they do take it as a finale, it, this could be a very different film. And if it does really well, it will never be the last Michael Bay no. Transformers movie if it does well. Those movies have actually still made money hand over fist all over the world. I think originally he was still going to stay on and be a producer. Aye. I think he wants... He'll have no involvement. I think he wants different directors and that thing. Yeah, I think that... Well, I think this one isn't directed by him. I definitely think it's produced by him and that's it. I think I remember a time when, you know, Mark Wahlberg... Mark Wahlberg? Um, Marky Mark. Marky Mark signed up to it. I think he signed up for three films. Well, there you go. That's the, the time that he... I mean, no, but low, nearly every Hollywood deal is a three three picture deal, so they, they very likely could just buy him out of his contract and just say like we're not going to make a third one, yep, or just let the contract subside over time. You know? But um, yeah, Transformers: The Last Night caught me by the fucking surprise. There caught me by the lapels, grabbed me by my nerds, and yanked me back into the uh, into the cinema seat. Did you know that? Oh, sorry, was that a fact? Stumbled across an article or something online. Uh, the studio intends to do what James Cameron and 20th Century Fox have been doing to spawn three new Avatar sequels and what Disney is doing to. They're going to shoot a whole bunch of them back to back. Sequels and spin offs. Yeah. Uh, Paramount wants to have their own cinematic universe for Transformers. Similar to Marvel's. Do you know what that means? We get Rock Warriors, we get the GoBots, we get... <laughs> that would be fucking genius. Although, um, I mean, suppose about Transformers, you, if they take it off-world, then that makes it, that means it's easy, because you just say you have an ever-expanding infinite universe of Transformers to deal with. Because the biggest problem is actually keeping it on Earth, because Earth keeps getting fucked up by this shit. So essentially they have to get off-planet at that point. Hey, well then that trailer fucking Earth look pretty goddamn desolate. The origin when they were on Cybertron. Do you know, you know, uh, we were actually looking at comic books. So you, did you see that Stormbreaker one that I have? No. Uh, Stormbreaker, like the idea, like essentially a cataclysmic event on Cybertron caused by one Transformer that was that fucking big, that big, that angry, and just split the planet in half, and it had to be rebuilt. That's why it's Cybertronic. That's why it's mechanical. It's being held together because of it being originally destroyed. I was like, that'd be fucked up. I think it'd be really funny if, like, you know, Transformers Twenty was actually Mad Max, like the other year. You know, because like at this point, like the uh, world that where they were, they're like the. It looks very Mad Max. Very... Yeah, so it looks like they're living in junkyards in a lot of the places. Much... It doesn't look as much set. Like, it's a devastated city everywhere. Devastated. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they go through the whole thing with the Decepticons and fucking taking over the planet or something. Yeah, I mean, I'm even concerned. Like the part of that movie looks like it's actually post an event. So like that's the reason why that shit's actually sitting on the planet. Yeah, it's, edgy, it's, edgy, it's leaching the planet dry. I mean, fuck's sake, there was a satellite dish laying in the middle of that uh, football stadium. <laughs> Sticking out of his butt. But that's what I mean. Like, There's a lot of things that are shown in that look like a world that's already on. Uh, uh, they're already losing, and there's less Autobots around, and there's more Decepticons around. So. The eighties, eighty nine movie, yeah, man. Like I've got that, I've got that movie, I've got that script memorized. The song cues, everything. That movie is is incomparable to any of these Michael Bay movies. But at least we might get something that's finally in in the right league. Yeah. Especially if they if they do Unicron with us, then they actually are trying to redeem it. Like you want to, well, we'll be the second best Transformers movie. Started. I mean, it was a stupid idea not to do go that skill. I think my the thing I've been asking for is get them the fuck off Earth, get yeah. rid of the humans, get rid of the humans, get them off Earth. That's the two biggest things I had a big problem with. G one was great. I loved the show, 
but it actually I've, I've from generation like from season two onwards whenever they're back in space and stuff that was actually what entertained me <laughs> I think everyone loves a char <laughs> it's a nice place it's, it's what losing his mind oh yeah uh, like the proper crazy kind of like an actual crazy villain rather than actually just Crazy, unstable Galvatron is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> because like, even the soldiers are kind of looking at him going like, do, do we do what he, oh fuck, he's going to shoot somebody. <laughs> All right, right, do it, we'll do it, we're good. we got a boss, we got it. <laughs> and no other choices. So um, yeah, that, that was the Transformers the last night. We're actually entertained about seeing this, so are we pulling in on the hype train and June? <laughs> look yeah from the fact finding I'll, in the corner I'll go see it I'll go see it I'll go see it <laughs> I will actually look forward to seeing this um, you two will be definitely looking forward to forward to we'll be watching else. every frame well, for references to it, but definitely. yeah I, my hope is my, the, the, Michael Bay you made me hope again and if you make me hope and you betray me one more motherfucking time we're done we're done we're done one this is the, this is actually like, this is the last time I'll this, go to this this is the one who's break, gonna break the, yeah, the camel's back yeah, yeah. Uh, I... <laughs> should we be the, we be in the bad boys three sometimes? <laughs> they mean chat about it, isn't there? Uh, I think yeah. I think they're doing it. Uh, well, I mean, I think there was a teaser. Was <laughs> at this point? But um, yeah. Yeah, probably. So Transformers: The Last Night. We're going to be checking this out. So um, this is a a very timid. Like we're going to check this out out of hope. If you are a fan of the series, you're probably going to see it. If you're not a fan of the series. This one looks different. What do you think? Tell us beneath. Do you think this movie is actually going to be different from the other ones? Or is it just going to be, this is all a ruse. The first trailer was closer to what it's going to be about. And this movie, this trailer just makes us confused out of anything else. That's, there's no giant robot balls in sight. There's no uh, uh, racially kind of incentive and offensive character types in it. Nope. There's, yeah, there's no robots here in it and people. There's... Um, Less jokes about uh, teenage sex and masturbation, and there's no. Yes, oh yeah, and uh, they don't have the um, parents getting high on pot on a college campus. Carl Wahlberg's. Uh, oh God! Yeah. Uh, think, uh, it's statutory legal. No. no. Well, they, the two of them fucked off Dan, but it's just Marky Mark. Just Marky. We'll just assume they're dead. <laughs> That's a sad story, Marky. They're, presumed dead. They're <laughs> presumed dead, hopefully. <laughs> and he's adopted this other buddy. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what was said you picking up a kid. So, um, know, there's a very Logan esque kind of thing going on there, I suppose. But anyway, if you enjoyed our opinions, if you have any thoughts of your own, if you have any questions, if you have theories, do you think this is Unicron? Is it Unicron? Would we actually be getting a Unicron movie finally? Hopefully. I think so. Well, if it is, comment in the thread underneath. I know. But um, it, also the fact that Orson Welles didn't give a shit whenever he was recording in the first place. <laughs> that's that's what he said. That's that's his actual quote. Whenever he said about it, whenever people ask him what he's working on at the moment. Um, yeah. God damn, it's crazy. Yeah, it's just the fact that it was, it's. Uh, and that's how we got the ramp up, and it sounds so good. Show it. It's dismemberment. Oh. Oh, yeah, I actually, I, I'm going. I'm going to grab out my 169 edition of it, the actual white screen edition I have that has the extra button edge. We're going to sit on that. Yes. Okay. So, right. Stop thinking about the 1989. Subscribe one. over here. Yeah. We're, the video's oh, getting too over there. You guys could go on for another. I told you, you could. You should have sat here. I could have been over there. Could have been like two videos long. But anyway, subscribe up there. Yes. Yeah, so hit the subscribe button up there. Guy. We'll have, I wish I could remember what you say, but the regular the playlist will be done. right over his head. And then further to the right alongside that is all the recent videos that have been up here on the channel where we've been less rambling about Transformers, but you never know, we might actually do a little, we might do a, fun, <laughs> we might do a fan analysis kind of thing to actually maybe do in the future if you guys want to know more about Transformers and want to know more about the history of the stuff and the rest of the series and how much we fucking get Michael Bay, then make sure to hit comment underneath and say that you want to see it and hit that like button, hit the subscribe and hit the share and pass it around to everybody else you see. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see all you dudes in the next movie. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.